Hi everybody, thanks for joining us. Andy Lightbody, Rocky Mountain Television, and greetings from the deserts out in Arizona. We're about 40 minutes outside of Phoenix in an area that's open for public hunting and some special programs we'll be telling you about here in a minute that includes Robbins Butte, Powers Butte area, basically along the Gila River area. And joining us is Ryan Sutter, who is the manager for all of these properties that are down here. Ryan, thanks for taking the time to join us. Tell us a little bit about the Powers Butte and the Robbins Butte and what have you got here? I mean, it's a massive amount of property, isn't it? Yeah, it is, it is. Um, right now we're at Robbins Butte and it's about 40 minutes outside of Phoenix. Mm -hmm. You just head west and uh, we have, we're growing, our basic uh, objective here is to increase the wildlife habitat through growing different grains and crops and marshland and growing trees, cottonwood trees, willow trees, mesquite trees to uh, increase the habitat so um, people can come in and archery hunt, deer, javelina, mule deer, javelina, um, dove, quail, um, you know, just a wide variety. And then we also get a wide variety of bird species as well mm -hmm. coming since we're right next to the Gila River. And um, so there's a wide variety of uh, animals that are here. And power so whether you're a hunter and or just a wildlife watcher, yeah, you've you've got it all yep. right here in microcosm in this general area. Yeah, huh? that's right. That's right. When when this gets put together, this is an area obviously that that with the diverse species and and things like that. I imagine you get a tremendous amount of people coming from Phoenix as well as probably tourists wanting to come through the area. That's right. Especially it's a little hot right now, but. Once it starts to cool off, people will just come out and they'll either be bird watching and just walking around, mm -hmm. or we'll have some, you know, mule deer archery hunt season, and we'll have hunters in the mix as well. So, um, so we just try and monitor and make sure everybody's happy and uh, have a good experience out here. Is there a fee to come out here, or is this basically open to the public? Or by buying a hunting license, you probably what covered? Yeah, actually, there's no fee. Um, you don't even need a hunting license because bird watchers they they come in and mm -hmm. they just you can just walk in. It's all uh, by foot. Mm -hmm. um, we do we don't allow vehicles to come in uh, past a certain point, mm -hmm. and and then from there they can just walk in and walk around the whole area, and there's no fee, and they get to see some uh, wide variety of different wildlife, and um, it's usually a great experience for them. This particular weekend, we're down here because it is the opening season for dove. Mm -hmm. And you've got, obviously, the morning dove. You've got the white wing. Mm -hmm. You've also got the invasive species called the collared dove. we the got Eurasian a few of those collared. around here, yep. Um, so this is going to draw a lot of hunters in, you know, from Phoenix and, like us, all the way from Colorado, mm -hmm. you know, to come down and participate and experience this. But you also have a special program for this weekend that's really designed for the young sportsmen. Tell me about that program and what you guys have got going. Yeah, it's called the Junior uh, Only Dove Hunt. And here at the wildlife area, we only let the junior hunters hunt on site. And then around the wildlife area, the regular dove hunters and uh, adult dove hunters mm -hmm. can hunt. Um, but we, uh, as part of the regulations, we let uh, juniors only dove, uh, hunt dove on, on site here. Is and this just one day or the whole weekend, or the what is it? It's actually two days. It's uh, Saturday and Sunday. Being the first and the second. Yeah, first and second. Uh huh. And then, um, so the juniors only is for two days, the very beginning of the dove hunt, and usually it's uh, before the regular dove season opens but this year they it actually happens to fall same, on top yeah, of each other yeah but um but and 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 that's okay too because we have um uh, people that'll come in, out as a family and you know maybe the dad will go with the son and okay. the daughter the mentor. And, yeah, be yeah, the mentor. and then do the junior dove hunt as the rest of their family you know go off to the side out just outside of the wildlife area and and hunt there as adult hunters okay so how does, how does the program work? I mean, uh, you know, these people obviously are coming from anywhere here in the state of Arizona. Mm -hmm. um, do they have to sign up in advance? Do they just show up? Where are you going to put them? What, do you, what are the festivities you've also got planned for them? Yeah, we have 
Saturday morning, people show up. We're opening up the gates at 4 a.m. and people just start filing in. Um, and we let, and the, we bring the junior dove hunters in here. We sign them up and uh, you know take their name and mm -hmm. where they're from and some little you know, just kind of some data that we can keep track of, of mm -hmm. where people are coming from and who's here. And then they get signed up and then we do a, a hunter education crash course of um, you know some basic hunting uh, safety practices and what you know which direction when you're out there which direction safe can zones you, yeah, to safe, shoot yeah yeah muzzles up yeah yep. muzzles up mm -hmm. and all that good stuff so um we have a good safe um dove hunt out here and then um and then so that we take them all out on once they go through that we just line them up it's first come first serve and Usually the first people out get the best hunting spots, <laughs> and then um, we take them out on hay wagons and drop them off at their hunt station. Designated we, shooting zone. Yep, huh? designated shooting zone, and we set up some hay bales there so they can uh, kind of have some cover. Uh huh. So the dove don't see them, and um, so hopefully. Now this is in conjunction with the Chandler uh, Gun Club in the Arizona. Yeah, that's group right. Here. We're, I mean, we're uh, we work directly with. It's almost half and half. Chandler Rod, Rod and Gun Club, they've been involved with this from the very beginning. Mm -hmm. And they bring out a whole crew for um, helping put on the, the whole event. And we provide the, as my part, I provide the facilities and, you know, trucks and trailers and hay bales and just the facilities and a lot of the, the work. The manpower is the heavy, the, as we heard, the heavy lifting. Yeah, is, yeah, uh -huh. yeah. And the Chandler Gut Rod Gun Club, they put on a pancake breakfast for the kids, and uh, they have this whole, you know, they're hungry and say they're done hunting. They come in and have some pancakes and sausage, and so it's uh, it's quite a good event. And how many um, people does this draw? You know, I mean. You know, what you participated in it when you were I did a young yeah. sportsman yeah you know and now yeah. you're the you're, now you're the wildlife manager area, you know for this area here um, what do they anticipate how many shooting stations and things like that do you try to set up yeah it's kind of come full circle for me and I'm glad I can be on this side now and and uh, you know have a great exp provide a help provide a great experience for these kids and we're expecting about 200 uh, hunters out here you Junior dove hunters, yeah. Good, great. Yeah, so um, there's there's quite a few kids that come funnel through here, and and uh, what a uh, unique experience for them, really. Yeah, you yeah. Know, I mean to think it that you you know you've got a government entity that is taking such an interest in the young sportsman, mm -hmm. you know, boy or girl, seventeen type thing and mm -hmm. under, you know, that that you guys go this extra effort to to do this. Mm -hmm. um, I would, I would imagine that uh, the local publicity and things like that, this continues to grow, doesn't it? Oh, and that's our whole objective here is to get a lot of kids out here and have a positive environment that they can learn from their mom and dad or elders and, you know, just have a really good hunting experience and experience in general, um, even if they don't say max out in their in their dove but they do keep get to keep the dove that they shoot right oh yeah they do oh yeah so I, I get to take home a bag oh full yeah 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 yep. oh. and that's the whole thing we want to get them some good action and mm -hmm. good good flying uh amount of dove and um get them some good shots outstanding congratulations sounds like a heck of a program right if people would like more information about either coming out you know for the the youth and the junior type hunts as well as then just the general public and wants more information about what all is here and the opportunity to experience it. Where do you want them to go? First thing is go to our the Game and Fish uh, website. It's azgfd.gov, and you can find a whole wide variety of information there and people and uh, and specific um, sectors of the agency that you can contact, and mm -hmm. they'd be the best people to answer your, all of your questions.